So we've had this little issue where there's been, uh, started off with one or two cats. Jackie, our guard dog, surprised the heck out of me. Let's see if I can find a panel. Quickest way to get it blocked up. A whole group of them to be out. Good girl. Eleanor, you can't go through there. No, we're in trouble now because looks like Big Joe's knees on a date. Uh, here we go again. Cows are out. Nope, not bison cows. Bovines. Welcome back to Cross the Rivers Bison. I'm Dusty. Got the crew with me. Got Bullet and Maya. But this started off with one or two calves of a situation. Uh, and then it was a cow and two calves. And now it is a whole group of cows. We've got a bunch of cows over here now. And so it's uh, luckily we've got a little gate here but there's a whole bunch of cows over here i've known this fence hasn't been in pretty bad shape but they're supposed to be here and instead they're here in our pasture there's a whole bunch of them down here uh this is where eleanor is currently jackie's down there working the cow she's been doing that let's take a look it started off what we noticed a couple of calves getting in with eleanor and we came through we chased them out and we patched up this fence some using a cow panel. We came back another day and we found a couple more cows with calves in there. And by now, we've got a mess. So frustrating. They're coming over here getting our grass, the bison's grass that we work hard for. I mean, there's quite a few cows out here. I don't know how many, but there's a lot. They're supposed to be, or they, they are where they're supposed to be. Obviously these are not. We patched fence once, now it looks like I'm gonna have to patch it again. Now we gotta go round them up and try to get them to come up here. Since I'm flying solo, I don't want them to come in here. We'll see if we can go get this done on our own real quick. Maybe the dogs can help us. I see where they're getting in right to there. It's where he's gonna jump back, probably. Let's go see what we can do here. There's Eleanor peeing. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Good. Come on, bullet. Come on, Maya. Right here. Let's go. Come on, Maya. Maya, let's go. Right here.
Good girl. Good girl. Eleanor, you can't go through there. Oh, we're in trouble now because uh, there's some left. Good girl. See if we can get this cow around Eleanor. See him coming. You're not just a sheep dog. You're a bison dog and a cow dog. Good girl. All right, well, let's go see the damage. It's what's bad about cows. I mean, look, they got plenty of grass. Come on, Maya. Come on, Jackie. Come on. We got plenty of grass over here. And there's 40 acres or whatnot. And they're trying to get over here. And uh, they'll push your fences and do a lot of that sort of stuff. They'll push your fences over, they'll lean them too. Bison don't stick their head through these fences at all. Bison won't stick them, stick their head through there unless they absolutely 100% have nothing to eat over there. I've never seen a bison stick their head through the fence. Cows, different story. Looks like a low spot right here. That's where they're getting through at. Jeez. Yeah, there's a little alley right there. Golly. It's ridiculous. <sighs> a panel would be the fastest because this whole fence needs to be replaced. As you can see, there's lots of cedar and all kinds of stuff growing up in it. Bad news bears right there. Come on, Maya. Come on, Jackie. Girl, come on, load up. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Jackie won't load up, she likes to run. All right, we got all them out, but we're gonna have to go find a panel for that real quick. I know some of you are wondering, why is Eleanor by herself? Well, the situation with Eleanor, if you guys never caught up to us or just didn't happen to catch it but Eleanor is uh partially blind don't know which eye or what the issue was about two years ago so Eleanor is kind of our special cow she's she's unique uh she's always been dear to our hearts uh she's one of our foundation herd uh females that we started with she's not the most grand female she's not uh doesn't have the best confirmation if you're looking for a breeding stock, she's not the best. You can kind of call her the pasture pet if you want to say that. No, I don't get up and give her a hug. We do give her cubes and stuff, but the problem is if uh, she's made her way down to this nine acres, the Big Joe herd is in here in their grazing unit, um, what I call the burn unit. And if we, the bad part is if we get her in this burn unit and let her go in here, we may have a very hard time getting her all the way back to the pastures uh, up towards our barn. So she's fine. She can still see them when they come by. She can still smell them. 
she's at the bottom of the pecking order. So um, even if she was in the herd, she'll get sort of uh, around them. She'll still keep her distance from them, but she's not actually in the herd. It doesn't move with the herd. She can still smell them, see them partially and hear them. So that's why we didn't let her And Plus we, we, she didn't even follow the herd when we moved them to the burn unit here. Um, she stayed way back kept her distance and then eventually made her way we left all of our gates open and she made her way to this nine acres and that's where she's been hanging out at plus we're doing a little fence work so we got to keep her out of the 40 acres so we're gonna go in here and check the big joe herd now since we got those cows out i'm gonna see if i'm find a panel um in the meantime to get this uh blocked up quickest way to get it blocked up you better hurry up wiener Majority of them all kind of scattered out. Looks like Big Joe's courting down there. He's on a date. Nice little evening date. Kind of scattered everywhere. Got a little red dog coming to say hi. Hey, buddy. and doing our thing here. All right, just getting up a little closer, seeing how they're all doing. Got a lot of grass. Peaches. Hey, peaches. Good to see you, girl. see what Big Joe's up to. He's on a date over here. Guess he took her to the barn to hang out. Hey, buddy. I found an old gate. Been using somewhere else to block a gap for the bison so that we can get their full rotation in. So we've got this gate and it's basically gonna be a way to, a uh, quick way to patch this. I'm supposed to go to a birthday party dinner for my sister. So I'm running a little bit behind. Didn't expect for these cows to be out the whole group of them to be out this time so uh, a panel like this can get us patched up and get us a short term uh, time to buy but it, we need a we need a new fence obviously but we're gonna have to talk about that with my neighbor since me and him share it and I think he'll be he's pretty helpful on stuff like that we should should come to agreement on putting a new fence in for the sake of both of us. Eleanor will probably be happy she didn't have to deal with them bovines. They probably looked at her and were like, What are you? 
I don't know if she can really see him that well. <laughs> She's like, what's this big black thing? I don't know what it is. It smells weird. Pretty funny though. What do you guys think? Good chat. Wiener. Yeah, uh, I don't want to have to do this. Not really dressed for fencing with y'all. I got my hateds on. But uh, came down here to check them before we went to town. I already sent the girls to town. But here we are. Patching fence on the go. So I got a half blank depot sitting there a stretch right here is rough but we'll do what we can y'all think this fence has seen better days gate and then a heavy duty cow panel filling in gaps how much you want to bet i come back tomorrow and they're in here we're gonna break through the rest of this stuff up there is good down there is decent but you see what grows in here cedar if you don't manage these cedar will take over that's what i was dealing with right here all that is cedar and you know cedar and i get along real well not at all that's a good perfect reason if you don't manage them cedar will take over all right, come on dogs, load up, we gotta go. All right, we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, Eleanor, we love you.